ओपनिंग राइट Yes sir. Can you see? Yes sir, I can this see. This is the umbilicus. We are given incision here at the upper ridge of the umbilicus. Just at okay. the upper ridge, given a stab incision. Then holding the skin on both sides. Then extend the incision little bit towards the. Now adequate to accommodate the ten mm port. Now it is a male patient, so minimum fat, subcutaneous fat in the alpha very easy. Our mosquito forceps are giving some trouble. It is they are not holding. Okay, now it is okay. Always work lifting because uh, the blade. may enter into any gut loop see if it is attached to the abdominal wall and the sharp edge of the blade downwards just stab you see introducing the tip of the blunt scissor little spreading and adequate not too much that will cause bigger hole and the Yes. So now you see in screwing. We are screwing the port. The mm. cannula is kept in place. Then we keep, as we are doing under spinal anesthesia, we keep uh, pressure 12 millimeter mercury and flow 3 liters per minute. The first port is uh, you can see the umbilical port, right? Going inside. Yes. Okay. you can see that the, the yes. liver is at place is adherent to the anterior abdominal wall right mm -hmm. can you see yes sir yes sir and so but uh, we won't do anything there if uh, our actual operating site is allowing us to work seamlessly refer penetrating through the falciform ligament falciform then to the right side in that case it uh, works as a good fulcrum so in the next port on the left side between umbilical and epigastric port on the lateral aspect of the rectus or left rectus abdominis as uh, he is a tall patient i am giving between the two ports at, at the level of the umbilicus in the flank if you can see my assistant is on the left side he is holding the telescope with his left hand and his right hand is using the blunt tip forceps through the epigastric port and you see pushing the gallbladder above and towards right uh, we need a sandbag sandbag you can see that the neck body and neck of the gallbladder is hidden by this omentum but if we hold here and now you see more part of gallbladder is visible right and this adhesion i want to release that will expose more of the gallbladder okay you see we are using bipolar first yes so in this part 
you see this is the rubiar sulcus okay can you see this is the rubiar sulcus yes so keep above rubiar sulcus so where is the lymph node uh lymph node is somewhere here due to tension i have this tension of pulling the gallbladder in this way i hope that will end parasite this is on the gallbladder wall this is uh, in this area somewhere here is the cystic artery and yes. somewhere here is the lymph node due to fat we cannot see clearly but what i will do that usually in our uh, experience the branch of cystic artery on the gallbladder wall is somewhere here and now coagulating we will divide here and then proceed downwards through this area but this is uh, almost uh, i am sure this is the cystic duct right so there is uh, some reservation about uh this technique i am using am on because it is not following the cvs right what is cvs technique is not also bad this is the cystic artery branch on the gallbladder wall which has been divided right yes sir. now you see i am continue dissection in a way that these vessel along with lymph node somewhere here they are going medially and this is the cystic duct just little clearance of the fibro fatty tissues on the posterior aspect also it the uh, cystic duct seems to be short you see i mm. think after yes, this uh, up to this maybe so we do not want to risk going further down okay okay sir i will do this i it can help us see keeping it legs so that i do not ligate the common uh, the confluence of common hepatic duct and common bile duct and again you see in this way it is very easy see yes, intracorporeal knotting is not so difficult if you follow the rules you see okay you see leave some carbon footprint nowadays it is a, a hot topic material uh, as this uh, as possible to avoid carbon footprint so shan we you see no active bleeding right as the patient is under spinal anesthesia we will need less amount of analgesics we keep it only 12 and 3 there is less stressing of the abdominal muscles as well as diaphragm so there will be less postoperative discomfort and pain just uh, one bolter in the now okay and patient will go home at 8 pm to 9 now it is 2:45 he will start liquid diet at around 5:30 and he will go home at 8 pm day case do you, we are we are splitting the gallbladder wall and we will remove the stone first using the stone forceps then uh, if it is not possible in this way we can go for extending the incision a bit 